just reflecting on it's nearly two years since uh, the first patient walked through the door at Monash Health um, and where our journey began um, caring for COVID patients and where we've all been going along for this ride. Um, and we've learnt a lot over the last two years. We've learnt how to manage COVID and we've learnt a lot about how to control COVID. And I think the most important lesson that we're here to discuss today is immunisation and in particular the importance of booster vaccinations. We know now that that is one of the most single important things that we can do for our community is to get immunised. And we know now too that immunity post-vaccination is waning at around about that three month mark, which is why it's so important that the announcement today about bringing forward that time to get that third dose to three months is gonna make a big difference to the community. Booster doses will decrease your chance of asymptomatic infection. They will decrease your chance of getting symptomatic infection, but most importantly, they will decrease your chance of being hospitalised by about 90%. And that is what we're driving here, the decreased chance of hospitalisation, the decreased numbers of deaths that we are seeing, not only from Delta, but more importantly now from Omicron. And Omicron cases are filling our hospitals. We are seeing, um, many patients hospitalised across the health services and we know that less than 5% of them have had a booster dose. So importantly, bringing out that message about the importance of booster dosing. Booster dosing is also really important after you've had COVID infection itself. We have recently reported on people getting reinfected with COVID. We know now that Omicron is 10 times more likely to reinfect somebody than Delta. And so now, more importantly than ever, a booster dose is required, not only after a second dose, but also after getting COVID infection. I've heard people um, talking, I've seen media, social media chats about maybe just getting COVID and getting it over and done with. My advice would be that is not the way to go. We are seeing people, young, fit, healthy people, being admitted to hospital with Omicron. We are seeing people being admitted to ICU with Omicron, but also we are seeing people very sick in the community, being bed bound, having high fevers, shaking chills, terrible muscle aches. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. So my advice is get your booster as soon as you can. Now it's three months gap. Get a dose of a booster dose after you've had COVID infection as well. That will protect you because we know the immunity post-COVID disease itself is not nearly as good as what you will get post-COVID um, vaccination. After you've had COVID, your immunity will wane quite quickly. We know the immunity post-vaccination is much longer and higher than the disease itself. So yes, my advice would be that as soon as you're well enough after your COVID illness, um, go and get a booster vaccine.